Hey Denise, it's Mel. I saw your post and I saw the comments that Jason Tucker and Lauren Nason gave to your post about uh, you're asking about truncating or uh, merging two columns uh, and then they gave the concatenate function. I think they're absolutely right. I think concatenate is does mean merge in the sense that what you're giving here. So you're saying uh, you need to merge the cells and overwrite only the empty cells. So one thought I had is here's kind of let's say you have two rows uh, and let's say it goes on to you know through the thousands or whatever and you've got this empty cell in here what the concatenate function allows you to be able to do is you're actually going to be creating a third column um, it, and that's the one that you're going to merge both those cells into and then later on you can get rid of these two guys and the way you would do that I actually just have random number generators in here let me turn those into values here for a second hold on Okay, good. So now I just turn them into values so they don't change. Anyway, so the concatenate function, if you just put an equals, concatenate, and then the open parens, and you pick the first column, the cell in the first column, put a comma, and then you pick the column, the cell in the second column, and then you put the closed parens. What that'll do is in that third cell, it'll actually merge both of those two uh, values for you then all you would have to do is just drag it on down and you've merged them all basically. So you can see ABCD in 60431 goes to ABCD 60431. Now if you need to put any spaces or hyphens or some, some kind of a separator in the middle there, what you can do is do a concatenate. This is kind of what Warren was pointing out to. Concatenate, then choose that first column, put a comma, and then maybe put a um, this little quote and then maybe a dash and a quote and then a, another comma so basically you're creating that would be a second position and then your third and then in that last little cell you would pick that other item and then you would close it out hit the enter key and as you can see what it did is it did a b c d and then that little hyphen that we put in and then 60431 a b c d 60431 but it put that little hyphen in the middle and then if you just drag that all down that then basically creates your little do floppy for you, your little third column. Uh, so, and what you'll see here is like in this particular one where you have the blank cell, that MNOP will essentially overwrite that last one, that uh, that empty cell. But you're doing all in the all in this third column. Now, here's the deal: because this is a formula, what you'll need to do then is after you do all of that, copy all of that guy. So then you copy that, and then you paste it back into itself as a value. So that way. As you can see, right now, if I've got these things highlighted, there's a formula value in there, or a formula in there. So what you need to do is click OK. So now you turn these into hard values, and so when you get rid of these two columns, it won't affect that third column, because those are otherwise would have been dependent on these first two columns. Hope that makes sense. So notice if I delete those now, all right, that third column stays, whereas this one, which was still dependent on the formulas, now go away because the referenced columns had gone away. Anyway, hope that makes sense. I think that's the merge function that you're looking for. It's called concatenate. Take care.